So the time that I made Ronnie James Dio mad at me, or at least a little bit, or irritated him, um, basically what it was was I was playing at the Playboy Mansion with the Boogie Nights, the disco tribute band, and uh, I'm taking you on your California vacation right now. We're going golfing. How do you like that? At the golf course. There you go. Let's take a look around here. And I was playing at the Playboy Mansion. This is probably 1997, six, something like that. And uh, Ryan James Deal was doing his Children of the Night's Foundation thing where for the runaway children in Hollywood. And um, um, his drummer was there, uh, Vinny Apice. I talked to him after the, our set. And uh, anyways, Ronnie James Dio and, and Hugh Hefner was there with his wife and kids, two kids, and I shook their hands on stage. This is before he had like three wives <laughs> or whatever, something like that, right? And uh, um, anyways, um, so they announced, uh, Hugh Hefner announces Ronnie James Dio to the stage. It was like after our first set or something like that. And or in between our, in, during our first set. So we're on stage in our disco clothes and wigs and stuff, you know. And, uh, and, and when Ronnie James Dio walks up on stage, I go, blim, 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 and he gives me a dirty look like this. Like he's walking up on stage and he goes, like, idiot. And, my, and Jamie Brown, this, he was singing that night. He, uh, for the singer of Roxanne, he, he used to sing in a band called Roxanne. And he's the owner of the Boogie Nights Company, by the way. He put his hand on my guitar real fast like that to keep, so I wouldn't play it anymore. And then I, we played our set, and I remember afterwards, I said, uh, I talked to the drummer, Vinny. He was hanging out, and he said, hey, your band's awesome, fun band, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and, uh, and, and I go, yeah, so... Uh, uh, Ronnie gave me a dirty look when I played Last in Line. And he goes, yeah, he's a, he's a little sensitive about his songs. <laughs> and uh, I, 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 anyways, uh, and then I, I go, so what is it anyways? Is it Vinny Apice? I'm a little kid at the time, so I just, I still blur out anything I say, anything I think to this day. So I, I blame it on I was a little kid, but I still do that. So I'm like, so what is it, Vinny Apice or is it Vinny is it an apathy or a peace? And he goes, funny you should ask that. Because me and my brother, we're going to do a video uh, that you can get at like Guitar Center. And uh, you know, this is back when it was videotapes, before DVDs, I guess. I guess it was before DVDs. And, uh, and we're going to and, and have a drum contest during the video. And whoever, whoever wins the drum contest, I'm trying to get a better, get some better view of this thing. So this is pretty cool right here. And no one's golfing right now because it was like 105, 6 degrees about an hour ago. So I, I figured they'd be out here, but luckily I could do this whole video. So anyways, I go, like, what, what is it? Vinny, uh, Apathy, it's funny you should ask that. And he goes, we're going to do the drum off, and whoever wins gets to choose how it's pronounced. And I don't know if they even made a video or if he's just pulling my leg because I was a little kid, you know. And I was like 26 at the time or 5, something like that. 25, I think. And... <laughs> I do remember this though. We were go. I, uh, Jamie Brown, the owner of the company, goes, uh, meet meet me uh, at the, the band rehearsal stu uh, at uh, um, Robbie's house, his drummer, and because uh, he lives he lives in uh, not too far away. And, and and I go, why? And he goes, because I I don't want you to show up in a, at the time a Geo Metro. I don't want you to show up to the Playboy Mansion in a Geo Metro. <laughs> I think it's funny. That's true. If you really think about it, you don't want to show up to the Playboy Mansion. So, anyways, the Playboy Mansion was there Playboy playmates there? Well, let me tell you, there was. But he was married at the time, so it was much more like a, like a, you know, it was a, and it was also a, it was a runaway children thing. So they had their. They were serving drinks and food and stuff like that. And I got to go in the gazebo. Our whole band went in the gazebo. He had like a bird cage thing or animals or something like that like a zoo yeah he had a, well it was a zoo like a little mini zoo and uh so we messed around there but we were there we had to get there at like two o'clock for sound checks we were there all freaking day and uh, uh we went to that that famous gazebo or what was it called uh underwater i guess it's called a gazebo underwater or where's pools at you know the little room where you where they always show and you're like i wonder what kind of wild things happen in here we were like sitting in there going be careful where you sit, because everywhere you sat, you, you might want to not sit. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere in here, you might not want to sit. <laughs>
But it was a trip, though. It was a trip just hanging out at you Hefner's. <laughs> Anyways, that's my story. And so let me take you a little bit. Uh, that's the end of that story, I think, unless something pops in my head. We'll just look around at this golf course a little bit so you feel like you're on your California vacation. It's sunset again. I just finished lessons. This seems to be the only time I can really do this because it's too hot to do it any earlier, really, unless I do it way earlier. But uh, let's take a look at this golf course. I like this part right here. All down there. It's pretty. It is so pretty. Yeah. There you go. All right. So anyways, that's my story. We'll walk over here a little bit. Try to get some other moments of different view before I turn this off. So this is all for the view. Matter of fact, let's be, let's be artistic about it. We'll get some of this close up. And now it looks really good, right? <laughs> close up but in the distance someone's off someone's coming over with their golf cart I guess they hit a ball over here I didn't hear anything and there you go okay, it's too dark there it is where are they at They're behind the tree now right there they go now my eyeballs can see them I don't know how my my phone is picking any of this up but there you go alright Show back to the car right here. This is a uh, my mail box <laughs> or our mail boxes. Man, that thing sounds like shit. I hate those gas ones. They just really stink. They really stink. It really smells like a gas station or like a like a like my my lawnmower. Really sounds like my lawnmower. I don't know how you can relax in something that sounds like a freaking lawnmower everywhere you go. Anyways, and there you go. All right. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.